Hello, how are you? I hope you are fine. Well, me too. And uh, someone asked me a tutorial about the baroque flute. I'm not a good player of baroque flute. I am studying. I am not a beginner, but but I am a good teacher. So I will try. Perhaps will be interesting. This is a baroque flute. This is in plastic made by Aulus, copy of Stensby Union. This one is an old pitch, 415, so on half, half tone after half tone, uh, lower than the normal pitch. So when you make A, it's make A flat. But it's interesting for playing with other uh, instrument and uh, baroque repertoire. It's an instrument make, made in four pieces. There is nothing inside. The first time I was very young that I saw uh, a flute, traverso. I went in, in a shop and I told you, uh, there is something that is not here, it doesn't make sound. <laughs> I was young. Um, this is the part that created the sound, so this is the most important part. This is the three parts that change the sound. When you close a hole, you go down. There is six hole or six finger, and one key, but this key doesn't close an hole when you push the finger, you open a no hole. You see? So this go up. Um, the sound is done with I going in this direction above this, uh, this hole. Not inside, not directly outside, but like tangent. And you make this with your lips You see, it's close with a not, but like when you play on a bottle. If you think that is a beer, wine, or water bottle, the same is here. Uh, you can make it it in front of mirror because if I blow here it's make nothing here nothing I have to blow when there is this hole but you can also without a mirror you put this hole on, on your lips you there is a perception of this hole and then you open in this direction Whoop for arriving that air and then you create the sound. I suggest you to pass a lot of time for creating the sound without noticing just the edge of the instrument. A lower sound. Okay, and opposite higher sound. But not too much because if there is too much, you will lost to the sound. If you put together your four parts of your instrument. Some instrument has three parts, one, two, and three. But normally there are four, one, two, three, four. The, the, this hole has to be perfectly in, in a line. This has to be more right because the, the little finger is shorter. And then if you put 
directly answer this, it will make competition with the other finger, it's not good, it's better a little, but everyone finds its good position. And this, normally we think that it could be exactly in the line, it, it runs, it works. But if it's better, if you make more, this is the flute, more the hole, more in your direction, just a little, just a little, so it will be more. You put thumb and index here, um, not, not um, this part of the index, this part of the thumb, here, in this way you can close you can close the finger one two three here you put the thumb between normally the first and the second or near the first and you can close one two three and then you can also close this I suggest you to start without hole just with this position. Uh, the note that we will do is C sharp. to do just to listen so you become a good listener and a good listener is a good performer is a good player and then because you will learn to use your ear for making more long note you can start probably the first note will be long five seconds after seven. If you have a problem of uh, equilibrium, I don't know, balancing, you can put your ring finger, your little finger on the key and open the key. It's a, it's a, normally this key remain open for many many notes, for most 80%, 90% of the note this key is open, just for balancing better the instrument. change a little like smiling to see what happened and then change a little the inclination the, the, the angle the corner which you are and uh, change a little the pressure of air so you have to discover this uh, wonderful world of uh, fluid This was my first approach with a flute. I hope it will be useful. <laughs> 